Hey guys, Josh here. Thank you for being interested in hosting a site. We think that hosting a worship site means making a difference and that God can use your site to reach people. Maybe you're one, maybe your neighbors, maybe your family members will come to Christ because you're hosting a site. We think hosting a site means making a difference and that these sites will be used by God to bring Jesus to this generation in this crazy time. Our goal at Branch Life is to make these hosting a site as easy as possible. And so all we're asking you to do is identify the site, host the people that come to your site, and then uh, set up the technology so that the virtual host can take it from there. Once the virtual host has taken over, you can sit back and enjoy worship with the rest of your crew. So we want to talk to you about what it means to host a site and some of the different details and levels uh, that each site can propose. As a host, it's up to you to decide your safety precautions, your level of child care, and how many people can attend your site. You will also decide whether your site is a closed or open site. Then let me go through each of those. First of all, child care. You don't have to have children at your site. You don't have to provide child care at your site. You can simply allow it to be family worship, or you can go to that next level and say, yes, we will provide child care, a separate child program at our site for kids. And that can be as simple as putting on the YouTube worship for kids in another room or uh, setting up a volunteer to watch kids in a basement or in another classroom, depending on where your site is. Second, location. You can decide to have your site location anywhere. We believe a majority of you will pick your home, but some of you have access to, uh, to dining halls or to banquet halls or to classrooms or to businesses where it may be great to host a worship site. That location is completely up to you and your location will likely determine the number of people that you can host. Maybe you're a high-risk individual and you can only have certain people that you're already quarantined to at your site. We would love for that to be a site and we would love for that to be designated as a site just for you and another family. In that case, it would be a small number of people. And maybe some of you could host as many as 15 or 20 people at one time. That all depends. We will just, we will just highlight those numbers and whether or not there are spaces available as you instruct us to in our website. Secondly, or uh, uh, the next area that you want to think about is whether or not your site will be an open or closed site. Closed sites are just simply sites that are available to people that the host personally invites. We will send no one to your site uh, without your first inviting them particularly. And you might already know we have three families. We want to create a site. We don't have room for any more. That's a closed site. But maybe you have a site that has room for one, two, or three more families, and you can designate your site as an open site. If somebody registers and they're interested in your site, we will have a conversation together about inviting them to your site or whether we pass along the information that the site is filled. Again, nobody will show up unannounced to your site. They won't know where your site is or who is uh, hosting sites. That'll all be done privately behind the scenes. And lastly, safety precautions. Some sites are going to be set up for high-risk individuals. And in those sites, you'll have strict safety precautions. You're going to ask people to wear masks the entire time. You're going to stay six feet apart. You're probably not going to have any children there. You probably won't serve any kind of food, but you still will gather together to worship. We think that's better than worshiping alone. Now, other of you may already be quarantined together and safety precautions would be unnecessary. So you would just wear masks when around other, when around other individuals. Um, you, you would have limited social distancing. That would be completely up to you and your quarantine. If you are gathering together with people who you aren't already connected to, we would ask you to follow the basic CDC guidelines, which is wearing a mask when social distancing is not possible and staying social distance as much as possible. And once you're socially distanced and worshiping together, you may not need to wear your mask anymore, but that will be up to each individual host. Hosts with loose, uh, loose, Restrictions will be called green sites. Places with moderate uh, restrictions will be yellow sites. And places with strict restrictions will be red sites. And we'd love to have some of each. 
because we believe that some people will thrive in each of those different settings. So hosting a site means simply making some of those decisions, making your space available and registering with us. If you're at all interested to be used by God in this way, would you let us know by filling out the registration at the bottom of this page? And again, uh, this is not a lifetime commitment to host a site. We'll do it as long as it works. And if it turns out that it's not working, we'll simply eliminate this site. Or if it works really great and it gets too big, we'll create multiple sites. Every week, we'll, we'll determine which sites we have active moving forward. We'd love to see you participate in this way. If you believe God is calling you to minister as a site host, fill out that form and let's connect further in the days ahead. Thank you guys so much for being a part of Branch Life. Thank you for considering hosting a site. Even if you're far out of town, you could potentially host a worship site. Uh, location doesn't matter. Just the fact that you are willing to watch this video um, is, is something that I am grateful for. 